Hey everyone, over the last 14 days, there's been a huge amount of hype about the new Apple Silicon M1 chips, especially the Mac Mini, MacBook Air, and MacBook Pro. There's been talk online, there's been discussions, there's been reviews and tests, but in all that, I feel there's a few key things that have been missed off, which I'm gonna tell you about in today's video that may determine whether you buy one or not. So let's dive straight in. For me, I'm coming from a 2019 13-inch MacBook Pro with just eight gigabytes of RAM, so it's the base model. Um, it cuts through 1080p footage fine. I primarily film and edit in 1080p uh, with my wedding videos and commercial work at the moment. I'm starting to move up to 4K, and this is where the 2019 version struggles a bit. Um, it struggles to cut through 4K 8-bit H.264, so that obviously leads me on to the Mac Mini M1. I picked up the Mac Mini M1 because I knew it was going to be an instant upgrade from what I was currently using with the reviews that I'd already seen online. In fact, it was almost like going from a family compact car to a Ferrari. It absolutely breezes through my 1080p and 4K footage from my Fuji X-H1, which is the camera I currently use. And also, as you can see in the tests in the other videos, it breezed through the A7S III footage that I was given. So it was highly impressive to me. The Mac Mini was obviously a huge improvement on what I was already using and it sped up my workflow and allowed me to edit more efficiently and obviously as a business that is a key thing for me. But here's the kicker, it works for me but it may not work for you. I've seen plenty of reviews online and obviously talk about how the Mac Mini M1 is struggling to edit B-Raw 12K footage or the highest red footage you can find. And we've got to understand that the computer isn't, it's not for that. This is Apple's first iteration of their chip on what is essentially the lowest product within the range, the Mac Mini. So it's never gonna be intended for them high-end productions, maybe where you're doing 8K footage on a red and you've got multiple timelines, loads of motion graphics, and an intense color correction for your feature documentary film. It's not gonna be for that, the Mac Mini is for people like me, a small niche of video editors that were struggling on a previous machine and can just spend a little bit of money, 700 pounds remember this computer is, to just upgrade their workflow and make it more efficient for the time being. As creators, filmmakers, video editors, we all love tech, I love tech. Every time a new camera or computer comes out, I have a little twinge in my brain which is like, oh, we must get that new thing. But for me, ultimately, and I think for everyone, is to understand what our need is to improve our workflow rather than what we want with the new shiny gadgets. For me, the Mac Mini M1 fits in perfectly. It's upgraded my workflow, made me more efficient. It was at a cheap price point, £700, $700. Um, and it's bridged that gap between what I had and then what I hope to get next year, which would be a new MacBook Pro with the new chips in. So. Before you go out and get a Mac Mini M1 expecting the world, maybe have a little think about how it's gonna fit into your workflow and if it's what you need right now. So my main point in all of this is if your current setup and what we'll call your old computer is handling the footage you're throwing at it fine and your editing workflow seems to be okay, don't get blinded by the shininess of the new M1 chips and stick with what you've got. I have seen the Mac Mini put up against like a Mac Pro £10,000 dollar computer and obviously it gives itself a good account but you're always going to favour the Mac Pro if you're doing high intensity workflows. So what I would say is stick with your old computer, wait for the next iteration of Macs to come out and then maybe invest then if it's going to exponentially upgrade your workflow. But if it's gonna be only a minor adjustment at the moment, I would say give your old computer a hug, give it some love and stick with it for the time being. Finally, I just wanna say, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on the thumbnail. It means the world. If you've been around these parts before, as always, I thank you even more. If you wanna hit the subscribe button, again, it would mean a lot to me and give the video a thumbs up. If you subscribe, hopefully it'll allow me to grow the channel. 
earn a bit of money from this channel and ultimately feed my kids. So don't have that laying on your conscience that my kids aren't getting fed. So please subscribe, I will love you so much. Come down in the comments below, let me know what you think about the new Mac Mini M1. Have you got one? Has it exceeded your expectations? Are you disappointed with it? Let's get a discussion going in the comments. But other than that, I'm gonna say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.